हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ निकिता पाटिल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टुडे वी हैव टू लर्न द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन देन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैट्रिक्स देन टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन टू डायमेंशनल ग्राफिक्स ओनली देन इन टाइप्स दैट इज अ ट्रांसलेशन रोटेशन एंड स्केलिंग रेस्ट ऑफ दी अदर दैट इज शेयरिंग एंड रिफ्लेक्शन वी आर सन इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो ओके सो first is that is introductions almost all the graphical systems allows the program to define the pictures that includes the variety of transformation Trans for what purpose we want transformation if you can take any images or you can design your graphics or animation your image can be transformed in any angle or in any space with rotations okay for example a program is able to magnify a picture so that the detail appearance smooth clearly or reduce it so that the more of the picture is visible okay so program is also able to rotate the picture so that he can use it in a different angle so what is a geometric transformation geometric transformation is basically based on the vector space okay so for that the why you can use the vector space because in vector space you can use the edges platex you can use the edges with, with for your line and your curve so geometric also in a line and curve shape okay so for that the geometric transformation is used so operations that are applied to the geometric descriptions of an object to change it positions orientation or size and are called geometrics okay so why do we need the geometric transformations in a computer graphics so these are the main reasons that is as a viewing aid as a modeling tools or as an image manipulations tools for these reasons see the transformations and the types of transformations in a two dimensional transformation okay so the geometric transformations that are available in a some system that are the following first is your translation second is your rotation third is your scaling and other is transformations include reflections and shadows okay so start with your first trans that is translations okay so see in a diagram the two dimensional translation so first diagram in a diagram the main component is the diagram is in a with place in x and y axis for the translation you can use the terms additional axis with the help of your x y axis or your y x axis you can translate your images for that you can newly design your new coordinates values okay so see we perform a translation on a coordinates point by adding offsets of the coordinates so as to generate a new coordinate position similarly a translation is applied onto the object that is defined with the multiple coordinate position by reallocating the all coordinates position by the same displacement along the parallel path see suppose tx and ty are the new transformation distance for the coordinate x and y so is the original coordinates is the new coordinate position so additionally you can add the new coordinate do you translations value for your x and y axis that see then your image will be translated to your or shifted the a point or the axis for your new position that is the translations okay second thing is the two dimensional rotation your image can be rotated with the help of the angles in translation you can only just create or translate the axis point in a rotation you can rotate your angle position see in a diagram the first diagram that is in a 90 degrees after that the diagram you can create the theta angle then the diagrams will be or your rotations will be axis over there so we can generate that is 2d rotations of an object is obtained by repositioning the object along a circular path in xy plane the coordinate axis is perpendicular to the xy plane so there are the two things for your rotation that is your perpendicular axis plane and your basic theta that is your angle okay so for at rotational angles theta defines a positive value for con um, Uh, counter clockwise rotations about the pi or position so these are the main things that is in the diagram c that is the th angle theta which represent the point p which is on the x and y axis the angles will be in the r okay so newly angle created c this is the perpendicular axis and this is your new angle theta which is rotated in your 
x and y axis with the help of your theta. Then next term see here that is x that is your rar which is the combinations of your geometrical trigonometry that is sin and cos with the help of sin or cos you can rotate your angle in x and y axis. Then next see this is a diagram shows how the rotations is accessible that is in first diagram this is the 90 degree rotations and after that your rotations will be in your 180 degrees okay next thank you